As it happens, we're heading out right now to play some Jigglyball. Are you in? Just say no. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times sitcoms were censored. He has a learning disability? Oh, thank goodness. I mean... Oh, no, that's okay. I get that a lot. So dyslexic I am? For this list, we'll be looking at sitcoms that had scenes removed, were forced to make changes, or had episodes taken off the air. Just to note, though, there will be no animated shows on this list. Which censoring incident is the most baffling to you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Office – Diversity Day The second episode of The Office features Michael Scott bringing everyone together for a seminar on diversity. A seminar during which he does his best Chris Rock impression and articulates a plethora of cultural stereotypes. So we're going to reenact this with a more positive outcome. I will play the Chris Rock guy. I would like to see someone else pull this off. Well, let's have someone who wasn't involved in the reenactment. It isn't an easy episode to watch because of how cringy things get, but that's the point. It should make you laugh, cringe, and think. Okay. Questions? Comments? Anybody? Jim? Uh, is that it? But if you were watching an office marathon on Comedy Central in 2021, you wouldn't have laughed, cringed, or thought during the episode because you never saw it. As Newsweek reported at the time, the network removed it from rotation. Based on stereotypes that are totally untrue, that I do not agree with, you would maybe not be a very good driver. Oh man, am I a woman? Number 9. I Dream of Jeannie. Multiple episodes. It was a national scandal when Janet Jackson's nipple was accidentally exposed for a second during the Super Bowl halftime show in 2004. But back in 1965, NBC didn't seem worried about nipples showing so much as they were concerned about belly buttons. Jeannie, will you stop fooling around? I'm telling you for the last time. Jeannie? Well, one belly button in particular at least. That of the beautiful Barbara Eden, who played the titular character on I Dream of Jeannie. While her midriff-exposing outfit wasn't a problem, the network was adamant that her belly button be covered at all times. I will. Oh, very well, master. We're not sure why it was such a hot-button issue, pun intended, but the network censors were even willing to dole out fines should the policy not be adhered to. Do you want me to blink him away? No. No, I want you to stay out of sight. Number 8. Scrubs. Multiple episodes. While the early aughts were certainly a different time, it's still difficult to forgive something like blackface airing on TV. We expect sitcoms of the 21st century to know better. Their intent was comedic, but as Tina Fey wrote in 2020, I understand now that intent is not a free pass for white people to use these images. Fey wrote those words when requesting multiple episodes of 30 Rock that used blackface be removed from streaming. This is debasing to the both of us. Soon after, Scrubs creator Bill Lawrence did the same thing. Three episodes were removed and the offending moments were later edited out for any future airings. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Number 7. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody Smart and Smarterer Given how careful Disney is about protecting their brand image, you're more likely to hear about them censoring a television episode before it makes it to our TV sets. But sometimes, even the home of Mickey Mouse lets something through before changing their mind. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. D did you say you have problems reading? I don't like to talk about it. It makes me feel bad about myself. Such was the case with the season 1 episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, titled Smart and Smarterer. The crux of the episode features Zack pretending to have dyslexia in order to get extra time to finish his tests at school. He has a learning disability? Oh, thank goodness. I mean... Oh, no, that's okay. I get that a lot. So dyslexic I am? Well, turns out faking a learning disability isn't something Disney wanted to be associated with. The episode only ever aired twice on the Disney Channel and has been omitted from Disney+. Plus. Oh, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, and you seem to read it without any problems. As opposed to, say, someone who actually has dyslexia. Number 6. Leave it to Beaver – Captain Jack Has there ever been a more innocent and non-controversial show than Leave it to Beaver? What could they have possibly have done that could have warranted a censor, you ask? And the first time you fall in love, it's not always with a girl. 
And that's our story tonight. Well, the answer is they put an alligator in the toilet. Wally, with no aquarium in the vicinity, thought the next best place to house the small gator was the toilet tank. All right, Captain Jack, back into your aquarium. <laughs> so, was the issue some kind of animal cruelty thing? Nope, it was some kind of toilet thing. Namely the fact that back then, you literally couldn't show a toilet or bathroom on television. I got the scare of me life! <laughs> Minerva, you needn't finish the wash today. Well, I have no idea of going back into that cellar again. Alligators! In the end, an agreement was reached to only show the back of the tank, and with that, Leave It to Beaver became the first series to show a toilet on TV. Number 5. Boy Meets World If you can't be with the one you love Boy Meets World was a staple of ABC's TGIF Friday Night lineup for seven seasons from 1993 to 2000. Due to its popularity, the entire series was also later rerun throughout most of the 2000s on the Disney Channel. Well, almost the entire series. We agreed to stop drinking. I have. You obviously haven't. What do you think that's about? I wonder. While ABC gave the green light for every episode, there were three that the much more careful Disney Channel decided were too much for the network. Two of them were deemed too sexual in nature, including the prom episode in which Corey and Topanga almost have sex. So it's just you and Topanga? Yes. Alone in a hotel room? Yes. On prom night? Yes! So? What you do? <laughs> That's enough. Goodbye. Eric. Oh. Oh! Then there was the episode where Sean begins to develop a dependency on alcohol, which the Mouse House Network also kept out of the rotation. I don't like that you drink. Call me when you don't. Number four, Friends. The one with the free porn. In this season four episode, Joey and Chandler are surprised to find free adult entertainment on their television and resolve to never turn it off so as not to chance losing it. No, 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 no. We don't know what could make this go away. Despite the suggestive title and storyline, the episode is pretty tame. Besides the many references to the content on the television, there's nothing overly explicit shown when the TV screen is visible to the camera. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. bow. <laughs> What is that song that's been in my head all day? It's the theme from Goodwill Humping. <laughs> While America was okay with it, the UK was a little more sensitive to the content, or at least two channels in the UK were. Woman pizza delivery guy comes over, gives me the pizza, takes the money, and leaves. What, no, like, nice apartment? Bet the bedrooms are huge? <laughs> no, nothing! Channel 4 refused to air the episode during its daytime schedule, and Channel 5 edited out any shots of the television screen. Number 3. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Multiple episodes. After more than 15 seasons and over 160 episodes, there are a lot of great It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episodes to stream right now on Hulu, but there are also five that aren't available. Now, the next scene is, um... The next scene is bad. The yeah, next scene is a little bit of a disaster. It's got some problems, too. Never scared of pushing boundaries, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia has towed the comedic line on many occasions. However, in recent years, more efforts have thankfully been made to prohibit racist humour on TV. One particular episode of It's Always Sunny features some of Dee's skits, a number of which are racially insensitive. Charlie, what is going on? I'll show you later. Other episodes see actors in blackface. Luckily, these have all been removed from Hulu. So I feel like it was in very poor taste in retrospect. Number two, I Love Lucy. Multiple episodes. Lucille Ball got pregnant as her show was filming its second season, so they incorporated said pregnancy into the sitcom story. I'm going down to the club and tell him. Oh, Lucy, that won't be the way you've always planned it. Well, I can't help it. Ricky's got to know, and if I don't tell him soon, I might as well wait and let the baby tell him. This isn't strange, as it happens quite often on television when an actress is with child. However, what was quite different from today is that on I Love Lucy, they weren't allowed to talk about her pregnancy. Why didn't you tell me? Why, well, you didn't give me a chance. Are you kidding? No. It's me! <laughs> Actually, that's not true. What they couldn't do was say the word pregnant. We're not kidding. The 
the word was inappropriate for television in the 1950s, and so the writers had to substitute various euphemisms and words with a similar meaning without using the P word on air. We gotta take care of Lucy and little Fred. <laughs> well, uh, don't count on the baby being called Fred. She's changed her mind every three seconds. Naturally, that's because she's gonna have a baby. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Seinfeld – The Puerto Rican Day the final episode of Seinfeld left most fans laughing and crying. Laughing at all the great jokes and crying that it was over. But for some, it also made them angry. The streets are all blocked. I think every Puerto Rican in the world is out here. Well, it is our day. <laughs> Ooh, wrong car. Sorry. The episode The Puerto Rican Day finds the four friends getting into their typical shenanigans amid the New York Puerto Rican Day Parade. In particular, the portrayal of the mob of parade-goers and Kramer accidentally burning the Puerto Rican flag upset many. Who? Who is burning the flag? <laughs> Protests and angry letters led NBC to remove the episode from the summer repeat rotation, and it wasn't until 2002 when the episode was returned to the syndication package, albeit with the flag burning edited out. Maybe we should have stumped you! Like you stumped the flag. What do you think of that? 